Let us switch on to property 2. What is the property 2 say? If in a determinant row or column is interchanged, the value of the value will change in its sign only. It will not alter in the value. They will be changed only in the sign. I repeat, if any two rows or columns are interchanged, the value the sign does only get changed. Okay, property two. Let us take an example. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. Let us take it as delta. We expand it by rows. A1 into B2, B3, C2, C3 minus A2 into B1, B3, C1, C3 plus A3 into determinant of B1, B2, C1, C2. Expand it. A1 into B2, C3 minus B3, C2. Then multiply this A2 and expand this determinant B1, B3, C1, C3 minus A2 into B1, C3 minus B3, C1 plus A3 into B1, C2 minus B2, C1. Then multiply A1 along the brackets respectively. A1 B2 C3 minus A1 B3 C2 minus A2 B1 C3 plus A2 B3 C1 plus A3 B1 C2 minus A3 B2 C1. What they say is this delta A1 A2 A3 B1 B2 B3 C1 C2 C3 is equal to minus of this if you interchange any rows or column I will interchange the first row and second row B1 B2 B3 A1 A2 A3 C1 C2 C3 We know the value of this LHS and we want to show that it is equal to minus of this one <coughs> minus of the interchanged part If you expand this, you will get this. You will get the answer like this. Uh, from the next step, you take minus common out. Then you will get the same LHS. Then we prove that delta is equal to minus delta. This is the property two. I will repeat. You ex if you expand this, you will get this answer. Then you take minus common out so that we can prove that the property 2 if you take minus uh, common out you will get the delta so hence we prove that delta is equal to minus delta the, I will repeat the property if you alter the row or column in a determinant it is it is not changed in the value it is changed only in the sign hence we have proved that delta is equal to minus delta Thank you.